Hello, this is Bern, and if a man recently broke your heart and you have no idea how you're going to get back up and love again, well, stick around because I'll show you how to do just that on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be .com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and my episode today is really about helping you to heal from a broken heart. If you're a woman who has experienced a guy who broke her heart and you're doubting whether you should go into the ring again, whether you should fall in love again, whether there's a possibility for you or you should just quit altogether, I'm telling you right now from my experience of connecting with so many thousands of women who at one point or another have felt this shit will not happen for me, I can't do this again, I've been hurt too many times and in that decision creating the biggest probably mistake of their lives. Uh, if you want to love again, and part of you believes that it can still happen, even if the majority of you says, well, this is probably gonna happen, but part of you says this can happen, this is how you do it. The first thing you need to do is get some time off dating, get some time off men, and get time to heal, and for your heart to rebuild itself, and for you to rekindle your energy, and for you to trust that there's better things in life than this pain you're experiencing. You have to go through a time period where by all means, you stop contact to the dude who broke your heart. I get that some of you are gonna debate me on this one and try to negotiate and say, well, this guy is really good, we're just gonna be friends, we're not gonna see each other that often. That is complete and absolute bullshit. You cannot do that if your heart has been broken and you really want to heal. My strong recommendation is to stop doing this, to get, take some time off, completely off, connecting, talking, texting, thinking about this dude. Well, thinking is kind of hard, but do not engage in conversations with this man because it's not going to help you heal your heart. You have a higher likelihood of enjoying a, a falling off a 20-story building, <laughs> you know, than enjoying the process if you're really connecting to this dude. So don't do it. Number two is I need you to learn to trust yourself again. <laughs> what do I mean by that? So many women tell me, I cannot trust men anymore. I can't trust guys. And what that really means, if you really listen to it down deep, is I cannot trust myself. Why does it mean I can't trust myself? Well, because if you trust yourself, you know who you can open up with and who you can't open up with. When you make a blanket, blanket statement that says I can't trust men, it's like my intuitive wisdom and my intuition is so fucked up right now that I cannot entertain the idea of connecting with anyone. So I'm just going to make a blanket statement and not connect with anyone. Now, I understand for a time period it needs to happen, but when you get out of that time period, when you regain your sense of aliveness and passion, and you start connecting with men, you need to learn to trust yourself. And the way to do that is to, <laughs> to do, make decisions that engage your intuition, and then you can calibrate after the decision was made if you made the right or wrong decision. Here's what I mean by that. Sometimes you will say, yes, this person is trustworthy. So you will take one step, and then you'll ask the question again. So it's not, you don't open once and just make that decision forever. You continue to ask that question. Can this person still be trusted? Now, sometimes that decision, initial decision, this person's trustworthy will have been wrong, but you will learn because you're asking that question a few times and you'll say, well, I wonder if I can learn something, if I felt something and I didn't act on it. So that's part of how you do it. You'll also learn because there's going to be people that you're going to close off to, from connecting with and maybe they were the right decision. Maybe you'll learn that in the future. So when you make more decisions from a place of intuitive wisdom, you will practice recalibrating and trusting yourself again, which is an absolutely crucial step for you to trust in a man. If you trust in yourself, then you can trust that if you make a decision about someone, you can continue to ask the question and if at any point they throw some big ass red flags, you can stop Recalibrate, ask questions, and if you need to move away, then you can. Okay, third step, you need to make a decision. Ultimately, this whole thing is about making one decision. And I, I would love to sugarcoat this, but I can't. The decision you have to make is, do I want to die alone? That's the real decision you have to make. And if the answer is not just no, but fuck no, then <laughs> the next three questions that you need to ask yourself is, A, what am I willing to risk in the process of not dying alone? So what do I have to... What kind of risks do I have to take? Mitigated risks, but still risks in the process of finding love again. Number two, what must I stop believing? 
And that could be a story, that could be beliefs about man or beliefs about yourself. What are the things that I need to stop believing if I want to find love again? And three, what am I willing to do? What do I have to do in terms of action? That includes who you need to surround yourself with, who you need to learn from, that's mentors, therapists, anyone, right? <laughs> Videos, and what actions you need to take in terms of engaging, communicating, and connecting so that this thing can take place again. This is not all in one day, this is a process. And as I re just recap step number one, you have to take some time off, but once the time is off, you need to get stronger inside, trust yourself, and make the decision if you want to die alone or if you want to give it the best freaking shot you have of creating the strongest connection you've ever created in your life. And it's absolutely possible. If you find this is helpful, useful, and insightful, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen here, you'll see a blink pop up that will allow you to sign up to a webinar that I'm hosting where you will learn how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less this is very, very powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. Have any questions for me, place a comment below and I promise to reply to you personally or maybe even create a video just for you. Thank you.